My dream mic is the 251, and this microphone is 251-ing. If the sky starts to crumble and fall on my head, you're there. You're there. An angry mob starts to gather and pull me out my bed. You're there. You're there. This is the Warm Audio WA251 tube condenser microphone, a true recreation of a studio classic with warm and balanced tone. Let's talk about it. What's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my home studio where I do all of my music production and film a post audio work. I am your host, Archie Beats. And as you all can hear, you hear that nice, silky, warm bottom. And I purposely didn't use EQ through this entire warm vocal chain starring the Warm Audio WA-251, the WA-73, and also the WA-2A. And if you all stand by this week, we are dropping not just one video, but we are dropping four Warm Audio videos. But today we are focused on the WA-251. This video is not sponsored, but our friends over at Warm Audio got these out to me, and I'm glad that they did. A lot of my Recording Academy Grammy colleagues and professional engineer producer friends are stacked out with with warm audio and they are really happy and winning <laughs> Grammys and being really creative. So this day was inevitable. So today we're gonna do a deep dive into the WA-251 and this microphone comes in at $849 versus $10,000. And if you're interested in this microphone, be sure to check the description below. I have it listed down there. Also everything that's in my home studio. And when you use any of those links, you do help this channel out, thank you. So what did you guys think about my vocals in the intro? Comment below. Um, I actually played the piano with a VST, but if I had a nice Steinway or a Yamaha C7 or something like that, I would definitely make those pianos with this microphone just so everything could be matched. As I stated, we didn't use any EQ, no auto tune. We had a little reverb as well. So first of all, we're going to talk about what comes with this microphone, what comes in the box, and then we're going to talk about the anatomy of this microphone. What makes it work the way it works? What are the components and what makes it a fateful rep? of the 251 style microphones. And then we're gonna give you guys my closing thoughts on this mic. So let's talk about it. As soon as I received this microphone, the first thing I noticed that it was a very large box. It's not just a box with a bunch of styrofoam in it, but it has built in protective material. It's that double protection. It protects the wooden box with the microphone inside of it. And it also comes with a shock mount, the special pin mic cable that goes from the microphone to the actual power supply that it comes with, the power supply, and the power cable that goes to the power supply. A warm and balanced tone is an understatement. I am between a tenor and a baritone, and this microphone captures what I'm putting into it, and a little character is added to it as well. This is because of the fateful components that they used in this microphone, such as them pairing this custom all brass recreation of the famous CK12 capsule with a custom made Sinmag US transformer. They just didn't stop there. And as far as the tube, this microphone is equipped with the heavy hitter JJ Slovak 12A Y7 vacuum tube. And with the WA250, one Gotham five meter seven pin two microphone cable. You all can take a breath now because this microphone specialty cable is gonna stick with us a long time. If you take care of it, no special orders. <laughs> as far as the polar pattern, this microphone comes with three. On the actual power supply, you have cardioid, omnidirectional, and figure eight. Cardioid, it picks up in the front, a little bit on the side, none at the back. And figure eight is it picks up at the front and picks up at the back evenly, none on the side. And Omni, it picks up all the way around the microphone. And you can switch those polar patterns on the power supply here. The max SPL is 132 decibels, more than enough. The frequency response is 20 hertz to 20K. This microphone is capturing the right amount of detail on the frequency spectrum. So what applications can this microphone be used for? As you all heard in the intro, lead vocals. It really put my vocals right up front. We have, like I said, the warm audio vocal chain here. 
which like I said, we got some videos coming up. Y'all definitely want to check that out. You can use it for room mics as well. So as I mentioned, if I had a piano, instead of me playing the VST in the intro, I would definitely mic the piano and have some room mics as well. If you're a composer and you're recording an orchestra, you throw these up on some deca trees around the room, this definitely will sound great. Nice, warm, deep, having depth recording. Drum overhead, stereo piano. This is a all around studio microphone and having a couple of pair of these is definitely a good idea. So my final thoughts, this microphone is in my top three. You can definitely use this on any type of vocals, female, male vocals, instruments, whatever you can think of, um, voiceovers, this microphone is definitely a go-to and something you should definitely consider. And if you are interested, please check the description below. I have everything listed down there. You all have been absolutely phenomenal. A huge thank you to the Warm Audio team. Don't forget to be great and create. This is your boy Archie Beats, and I am signing off.